in Jerusalem. The Ethiopian man rode all the way from Ethiopia to come to Jerusalem so he could be at the right place at the right time. Y'all see what I'm saying? There are some folk who question why we teach that the church of Christ is the only church that you can properly worship God in. We teach that because the Bible teaches that. The Bible has always showed us that God has always had a certain place where folk had to come to worship him. Under the old covenant, it was in Jerusalem. Under the new covenant, it's in the church of Christ. Right. And you can challenge that all you want. But the Bible is right. And from cover to cover, I can show you emphatically that the only place that a man can properly worship God in spirit and in truth is in the body. Of Christ. The church, according to Colossians 1:18, is the body. The church, according to Ephesians chapter 1, verses 22 and 23, is the body. So the same method that puts you in the body is the same method that puts you in the church. And that's baptism, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Verses 12 and 13, we're all baptized into one body. That's the same thing as saying we're all baptized into one church. And the Bible says ain't but one body, Ephesians 4, 4. Flat out, there is one body. If the body is the church, then you only got one church. Now, folk will teach you different. But if you want to go to heaven, right now, if you want to be a recipient and a part of this eternal purpose of God, you got to do what God says the way that God says it. If a man can travel all the way from Ethiopia to Jerusalem, right? Can't you come across the street right. to the Church of Christ? Right, Can't you come across town? You follow what I'm saying? When you want to be right with God, you will do whatever it takes to get you right with the Lord. And so that's what we're offering today. This invitation is not just for you to become a part of our number. It's for you to be added to the body by God. It's for you to be gathered together with others of, others of us that have been bought back out of sin. Sin ain't my master no more. I don't even listen to him. He ain't got nothing to say to me. Right now. I don't answer his phone calls. Okay. I don't accept his emails. I don't accept his BBMs. That's Blackbeard's message. For those right now. Amen. Amen. I, I don't want to hear nothing saying got to say. Because right. I'm up under new management now. Okay. Hello, Ben. Yeah. Yes, sir. You've seen those businesses close up and then reopen with the same name, same setting, same food on the menu. But the thing that'll make you eat now again is that they say we're under. New management. <laughs> yes, sir. The name might be the same. The building might be the same. But we have made some internal changes. So don't get it twisted. While you may think that it's the same, it's not. Because when you're up under new management, you do things a different way. And when you've been gathered into this one body, you can't live like you've been living, going where you've been going, watching what you've been watching, smoking what you've been smoking, drinking what you've been drinking. You can't do that anymore. Not when you've been gathered together. When God gathered you together, you had to leave all that stuff behind. Because one of the conditions upon you being gathered was that you had to repent. 
And repentance is a change of heart which results in a change in your life. You say that Jesus is the head of your life now. You ought to live like it. I ought to be able to look at your life and tell that Jesus must be the head of that life right there. I can tell by the way they live and the way they talk to people, the way they carry themselves. There's just something about folk that have been with Jesus. You can't hide the fact that you've been with Jesus. Some of the disciples tried to do that. Even Peter tried to do that when they asked him, why are you with him? He's a whole old man. Don't know him. They said, no, you, you done been with him. Because you talk like you done been with him. Yeah. My brother, my sister, is that what the folks say about you on the job? <laughs> Do you talk like you done been with Jesus? <laughs> Do you talk like you done been with Jesus? When they see you tomorrow morning and you tired because you have a, a long weekend and they come giving you all that work that you don't feel like doing because you don't have a long weekend. When they start getting on your nerves because you're tired, because you don't have long oh, weekend. Uh -huh. When they respond to you negatively, All right, sir. do you respond like you done been with Jesus? <laughs> do you talk like that other fella? Okay. That other fella let some horrible things come out of his mouth. Tell him what he Choose this day. Who you gonna serve? Exactly. Can't come up in here blessing the Lord on Sunday. Okay. Then cussing folk out on Monday. Right. That ain't the reason why you were gathered together. Right. Let me let you know this something. Come a little closer now. I need to whisper this to you. Come on, come a little closer. If God gathers you in the body and you don't act like a child that's glad to be gathered. God know how to get you out. Okay. Amen up in here. Right. Ain't no once I'm in, I'm in. That's true. This ain't, this ain't no fraternity here, baby. Right, Salvation is at stake. Sure same God that put you in yes, sir. is the same God that'll snatch you out. Right. So don't get over here thinking that just because you in, you in. You can do anything you want to do. Right. Oh, now you got to live like you glad. That you have been gathered. I'm glad I've been gathered. Oh, and that's the reason I preach his word the way I do, because I'm glad. Mm -hmm. I am no longer what I used to be. <laughs> oh, I'm glad. I've been bought back. I had to pay a heavy price to tell me. Because I was sold. I was sold unto sin. He bought me back. Now, I glorify God in my body and in my spirit, which belong to him. Don't you want to do that today? And somebody in this audience who's not his child, who needs to be his child, and there's only one way to become his child, the same way that you become his child, the same thing that's required of you in order to be gathered into one. You must believe the fact that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, John 24. You must repent of your sins, Luke 13, 3. You must confess, just like the opening of your did, that Jesus is the Son of God, and then you must be baptized. Amen. And baptism is the only way to folk that God is gathering people into his body. Outside of baptism, folk have not been gathered. I don't care what they think. Right. Outside of being baptized, they have not been gathered. You want to be gathered this morning? When we stand up, you start walking. Come on here and give your life to the Lord. If you're already God's child, you have already been gathered. You've been acting like you ain't gathered. You acting like you're standing in the field somewhere. You still treading the waters of sin. Still in the cesspool. You need to come on. Get yourself together. Because time may be expired for you at the close of this day. We don't know where death is. But I sure got an appointment with him. Right. He don't send me no courtesy call. No, sir. To let me know that my appointment is coming due. Mm -hmm. He just show up, show up. and drag me on up.